We're here with Doc at IH RMR in Ulaanbaatar. You managed to win two games, but then you lost to Rare Atom. What are your impression from this loss and uh, the whole run? Of course, we're disappointed because, uh, I mean, when we first came into the tournament, we thought we'll go lose probably because we didn't practice or anything. But after the first two wins, we really expected to win this one as well. So that really uh, made us sad after we lost. Uh, so Loba said, in the beginning, he didn't expect anything at all from Iran. Did you have uh, Did you have the same impression? I mean, deep inside, of course, like uh, we didn't really expect to qualify because we didn't practice a lot. But of course, we were trying to win, so we were motivated and hyped to uh, grind and win it. Uh, so your final match, do you think you had a chance against Ray Ratham at the third map if you had won Mirage? Of course, like the Mirage, uh, a lot of small mistakes cost us the map, so Inferno definitely. Uh, now I want to hear you talk about Twisted Minds. Uh, you and a team with really passionate characters, mainly uh, Lobanica. How does it feel to play with him as well as Pawns and KD69s, uh, uh, given you seem to be far less emotional? Yeah, it's fun. We're just streaming face it all day. Like We're not even really a team, I would say. We're just friends pl uh, playing for fun, trolling and face it, and we managed to uh, get to the RMR, so that's, uh, that's funny. Um, like Loba, you are also known in the community, but uh, haven't really been competing much in the tournaments. Is it something that might change after this event or in the future? To be honest, we will probably just maybe keep playing for fun sometimes, some qualifiers, but I don't think I will go pro or anything, because it's a stressful, stressful uh, job, I would say. So it's different than streaming. Um, uh, talking of changes, Loba said some of the players would carry on playing, but he didn't include you. At least uh, he said uh, he didn't have confidence. Uh, so do you see or do you not see the future with uh, these guys? We don't know yet because we have some internal problems. They might get fixed, they might not. So we'll see about that. Uh, you said you are not, you don't really see yourself as a pro player in uh, the long run. But uh, if there are offers, are you open to consider them? I mean, obviously, if an insane offer comes, for sure. But like you know, at the end of the day, you can see that we're just having fun, streaming, trolling, not really pracking. So that's not a good mindset to be a pro. So not like anyone would want someone like that. So understandable. Uh, now CS2. Uh, you mentioned uh, you don't like the current state of the game, but uh, expecting things to improve in some way. Do you have faith it will be good by the time of release, or are you skeptical? By the time of release in summer, I think that's really early to fix everything, but I think in around six months it could be a great game. Lobo said in an interview that there are some things that you are scared to criticize CS2 about. I think it's about the look of the game. Is it true that you are tempted to speak out? I mean, you know how it is, like, when you say your opinion online, people hate on it, but like I said, like, I don't like the way it looks currently, but it will get better probably. But right now, we don't, a lot of people don't like it, but they don't say it publicly, but at least they're sending emails to Valve. But I think because it's the beta, obviously things are going to get fixed. You need to, like, uh, say what's wrong and give it attention, otherwise it's not going to be fixed, you know.